I have free afternoon as I'm teaching for the, the kids. They don't have school on Wednesday afternoon, so this is cool. Oh, nice. Oh, you're a school teacher. That's cool. I have, I have to. <laughs> well, I started doing it uh, since uh, the lockdown because it was not possible to only do music anymore. But that's okay, you know. So uh, today I welcome a special guest, an incredible singer and songwriter, Maureen. She's Hello. 23 years young and from Switzerland. And she has gained like great attention through her songs, You Should Know and Overdose. And this Friday, she will release her new single called Waterproof. So yes, I'm really excited about that. And yes, also your brother, Bastian Baker, is also like a great singer and songwriter. So Maureen, I can see in your family, like really music, like great music from your music. So I want to know from your childhood, like how was it in relation to music? Like did you play instruments or how did you get into music? Yes. So thank you for the introducing. <laughs> what be here? magazine i think it's great so first of all it's it's pretty funny because my family was more into sports than music so my dad he was a professional hockey player he played in the Chlotte, Zurich, uh, Amripiota, um, Geneva, Lausanne he played everywhere and my mom she was doing volleyball at a professional level too so they were more into sports and we started uh, super young tennis and ski and a lot of different sports the whole uh, I have one sister and one brother Bastien obviously and we were really into sports and I got interested in the uh, instrument really soon I started with um, uh, the drum when I was nine years old or 11 I don't remember and then I started learning guitar and piano uh, to to write because I started writing really soon. At first it was just poem and then it was song and then I share it with the, the public. But um, yeah, at first we had not a really strong bond with music from my parents. I think I got it from my brother because he was doing it and I was like, oh, I guess if I, I wonder if I can do the same and I tried and I could. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Amazing, and I see you also do music together also with him, like really nice, so cute. And I have to say, your voice is really unique. Like, it's incredible because, no, really, <laughs> Marie, <laughs> I mean, I think that many singers, they struggle to find like their, like their natural singing voice, you know, like from, from the soul. So did you kind of struggle with that ever or it was just there from the beginning? I did, I did struggle a bit, but more to find which style I wanted to do because at the beginning when I started, I was doing a lot of folk, you know, I was just doing very acoustic. I was a big fan of Justin Mazzucca, James Blunt, all that kind of stuff. And I was super into the acoustic music. So I was only writing with my guitar, only performing guitar voice, piano voice. And then I started writing with some producers and that's where I really found which music type um, I'm into. And it's pop music because I remember the first time I put my voice on a pop production. It was for a friend. He said, oh, maybe you, your voice fits. And I was like, oh my God, like this works so good. This is just so perfect. And I, I started singing on, um, on pop music and this is where really I found it, my place in pop but I started with very acoustic and folk songs mm -hmm. so in which moments do you write your songs is it more like you first write the melody like on the piano and then you start to sing in the moment or how is, is this happening I would say it's um, it's a feeling when a feeling is strong enough I write a song about it just if it, sometimes it's because I'm super sad or super happy but it just becomes like or if I feel something is not right I just write about it and I feel better you know I started writing when I was I think I was 12 and I just I was wrote, writing in my book like poems like mm -hmm. things that bothered me and I put it on paper and it felt better and 
then it was not enough. So I started singing the lyrics and it felt better. And it all made sense when I sang the songs um, on the stage and the public after the concert, they come and they're like, that's crazy. I feel the same. Um, that what you're saying is so true. And it's just like the circle is complete. And I, I feel like, okay, so this is what it's meant to be. And music is really like, um, like a therapy for me and writing is so important. I would not say that I start with a melody or with a chords on the guitar. I just, it's a feeling and sometimes it's the lyrics, sometimes it's the melody. It depends. It always changes. And like, because you know, you, you always feel like you're the only one who feels this way. You're like, oh, I'm the only one in the world. And then people come and say, I feel the same. And, oh, okay. <laughs> and, and I have to say, you look really self-confident, like to me now in this interview. Do you, like, do you feel sometimes scared before a performance? Because I know to sing and perform sometimes is two different things, you know, like how you handle that. So the live is my favorite part of the job, definitely, because I have, um, I have four musicians. They're my four best friends, guy best friends from when I was a kid. And, you know, I... I wouldn't say stress, I would say it's adrenaline. So it's good stress, kind of. And it's just, before I go on stage, I got this little tingly thing, you know? But it's, it's not, I don't want to throw up or I feel bad or anything. I, I feel just excited. I'm just like, I'm going to go on stage. And then you get the, I mean, it's the only work in the world where you come at work and people are cheering. And then they're cheering every time you finish a song. And it's just, you know, I just really like to make people happy and when I can share my music and if I can share what I did and it makes people happy for me it's just the most incredible job in the world it's crazy I can understand I'm like I'm paid to do the thing I love the most it's it's crazy life is crazy for me it's just like I miss it so much you can tell I miss it so much. and with your music is there always like a specific message you want to give or it's more like a yeah, good vibe or it depends i mean uh because i write for myself but i also write for other artists so i wrote a song for example for uh, the eurovision for germany two years ago was it yeah two years ago and this song was about about uh, sisterhood and feminism and how we should raise each other up so it was more like a big issue and i would say my favorite theme to speak about is love and the relations obviously because i'm really passionate about relations and i'm just like when i have one i'm 100 percent in it and i want to talk about it and that's where you get the strongest feeling so i would say i have different thema in my songs I have some about hope, about the world, but the, the main one, if you listen to my first three singles, it's about boys. <laughs> I love to talk about it. I love to talk about love. I think I found really early that the only reason I was on earth and the only thing that was really making me feel alive was music and writing and doing life and sharing with people so this is the biggest motivation just that it's actually sometimes i feel like it's the only thing not the only thing but like it's the real thing that i'm good at that i can do without i'm not even trying i'm just like hey what do you think about that i love this melody and you play guitar to me and i start singing a top line and i just it feels so natural and i just love it so much that you know when i have songwriting when I used to have songwriting camps before Corona, I was going like in Scotland or England, writing with so many producers. And it was just, we spent the day in the studio um, to write and we wrote like two or three songs a day. And for me, it didn't felt like work at all because I was enjoying it so much. I was like, and at the end of the day, you have a song. So you have a new baby and you listen to it and you're like, oh, this is so good. <laughs> and you're just like, I made it. So I would say, yeah, music, definitely biggest motivation. And then what helps me keep my path um, 
definitely I have a really strong bond with my my brother because you know since um he started he started music I was so so young but when he started becoming famous I was 11 something like that I was 11 and I was touring with him around the world so I, I've seen the tour bus the backstage the studio the interview uh, I had like two to three concerts a week and I've just followed him on on every show because I loved it so much and he lived everything I'm living right now before so he's really my mentor he's my coach like if I have any question 100% he knows the answer because he and we we write together we just we do everything together. He, he's doing backing vocals on my song. We write together for other artists. Um, he co-writes with me on my songs. I mean, it's, it's a chance because not everybody, it's, it's a business, like it's a work. You can't do any school to get it. I mean, you can learn how to play the guitar super well. You can learn how to sing at a school, but they don't listen how the other things work. Like how to release a song, how to do all the things. And it just really helps to have him on my, and he always have my back. Do you know the cover of my last uh, single, Waterproof? I went in the lake to shoot it. Man, it was so <laughs> But I really wanted to have this picture. I had an idea in mind because I really like also the, the art covers, the, the pictures and everything. And I was just like, I really want to have uh, this picture of me background with my head underwater and it's called waterproof for the, the single and they were like yeah sure but like the lake is 10 degree and it was like I don't care <laughs> and I just went so it's um I don't even remember what I was talking about but the like the lake was very cold <laughs> at first but we started playing I got I mean it was meant to be that we get to be sportler but then I, I sing since I can speak, almost, and I always loved it. Waterproof is a bit different. It's a bit more, I would say, dark than the two others. But uh, it's, it's my baby. I'm really proud of it, and I can't wait to share it and get the feedback and see how it goes.